Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I had a comment the other day um, saying they couldn't find any information about their issue uh, regarding Takashi OS. And um, I mentioned there was a wiki. And, and I'm, in a lot of videos that I do, I will mention there's a wiki. And uh, when did that happen? When did it get dark mode? Wide? Oh, crazy, large, nice. Wikis are important. They are the, the bread and butter of learning a distro, right? You can jump in and learn any new distro you want if it has a wiki. It will always explain everything to you. And things like ArchWiki, okay, can bleed over into any other distro unless it's something that's made from nothing. But even then, it's still Linux under the hood, so it will still, you know, it will still apply. And, uh... Yeah, he had this weird issue with his Wi-Fi. My guess is it was a really old, outdated chipset that doesn't really have much modern support. So when he moved upwards, it kind of most likely was starting to be ripped out of the kernel, which I completely understand. I mean, it would be nice if there was a kernel that had, uh, and I'm not talking about LTS, just a kernel that held all the old drivers that were maintained not as much but still maintained enough that you know the stability's there and then you just have everything else right that'd be nice but uh here it is this is the cash us uh, wiki it's it's great you choose type nvidia it will go over nvidia stuff workarounds yada 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 issues how to fix stuff prime offloads how to use prime offload it's there and, and the same thing goes for this as well sorry there's like an issue right here this is where notifications go i'm still trying to fix it uh if we search nvidia same thing there you go it'll just tell you all the information you'll ever really need to know most of it's not relevant anymore like these rules and stuff like that uh because a lot of this has been updated and i guess it just needs to be updated as well but it's great to see them finally overhauling the wiki that's actually awesome because it actually looks really, really, really clean now. Look at this. I like this. This is a great job. I'm glad they finally updated. So getting into any distro, no matter if it's hard or easy, beginner friendly or not, will always be more simple if you read the documentation. The documentation there, it's, it's there to help. It's not there to be ignored. It's not there to be a... Uh, but I don't want to. This is too hard. You had to learn Windows at one point. Whether you want to believe it or not, you had to learn Windows. And you either learned it through your parents, you learned it through something else, you learned it through a want or a need, or you got taught Windows by trying to play RuneScape, which is the most plausible thing because at one point in time, almost everybody has played RuneScape. Me, my dad loved computers. I started to like computers i liked gaming they did gaming better than everyone else then here we are that's why i don't really care about consoles anymore i buy consoles to emulate them on pc because pc just offers a better experience especially when it comes to emulators god nothing's better than taking a really old n64 game and playing it in 4k and it's like pretty it's looking like it used to awesome our eyes work differently now yeah so if you're just blatantly ignoring the fact that the two largest wikis that I could possibly find exist, that's not good. That's not good for me. That's not good for you. I didn't mean to open that. And it, it just, it ends up hurting your learning experience in the long run. And you know what the weirdest thing is? You can literally just, you know what, one second. Because I know I'll get myself in trouble. If you need to, you could just go in here, open this up, and uh, basically ask whatever you want, right? If you need this to be completely summarized, so if you take this page, copy it, you go here, um, you state your issue. I am having sleep issues, any fixes? searching the web you can see the arch linux icon and it's going to parse through the entire wiki if it needs to or just the page that you gave it and uh yeah if you experience blah, 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 blah. 
Just to clarify, were you intending to discuss yes? Let's just type yes. Uh-huh. Cool. Common sleep problem. System won't wake from suspend. Great. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is true right here. Right here. This is this is definitely true. That doesn't need to be done anymore. That's automatic by the driver. That doesn't need to be done anymore. Interesting. And then it, it lets you know how you can check the logs. So if we went in here to check the logs, you could see there's a ton of information. So it helps like a lot. Here's how everything is working currently for the NVIDIA drivers, which is cool. So it just, it basically just taught you a command and how to troubleshoot your issues and other things, which is nice. Yeah, I like that. You see that? Um, List me 10 troubleshooting commands for Linux. And here's 10 essentials. So shows the system journal and detailed errors and warnings. And great. Okay. So yeah, this is what you can actually do. Sometimes AI actually knows what it's doing sometimes. Failed to request country setting. Okay. So there you go. And you could just learn these that way. Because again, all of these are kind of important. So yeah. Reading the wiki. Great. Having the entire wiki summarized for you in detail of your certain issue. Also great. But make sure that you link the wiki. Uh, so that you know a specific certain amount of information. Like... Um, I want to know information from right here. And then you detail your issue, right? It's not always going to be 100% correct, but at least if you're detailing the wiki itself, most of the information that should come out of it is updated unless the NVIDIA side hasn't been updated in a while. So hopefully that will help. Basically what I'm saying is just read the goddamn wiki. It helps. It's great. It turns a beginner into a, a, a modest user into a slightly more advanced user, into an advanced user, which is what you want. You want to be learning constantly. Whether it's Windows, Mac OS, Android, iOS, doesn't matter. Everything must constantly be learned to be completely understood. And if you need to, well, you can go into your own Discord just like this, right? We can head into here and you can open up your own little forum where you just put all your information. And that will help yourself because you get to store the information that you use most. Like for me today, I'm going to need to do a post and a video on how to add um, commands to Lemon and have it stay in Lemon instead of like get raced every time a kernel updates. That's a video that's coming later today. The point of all this is you got a Discord. Start your own little forum. Patch in your information. Keep the stuff that you need to know the most. Makes sense, right? It works for you. In the long run, you need to go back. You need to learn something new. You could do that. And it's not going to kill you. Like, eventually, I want to integrate all of this. See that? I think that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? At least this way, I could color the entire thing according to my wallpaper. Even though it's semi-transparent and does that anyway. So there you go. Where'd the goddamn ethernet go again? I've been refactoring, so it's like, there's a lot of things that uh, is acting weird. I gotta fix most of it. Bye everybody. Remember, read the wiki. Turns a beginner into someone that knows a lot more than beginner into an advanced user. And you could do this within a day a week, or even a month. Take your time. And don't ever tell yourself that you can't do it, because honestly, you could do anything you put your mind to, as long as you have the patience and the reading ability of a great two user. Okay? That's how easy it is.